G'day and uh, good evening everyone. Welcome again to tonight's official coverage of Round 4 in ASRNZ's 2022 Season 1 GT3 Series. I am Davo and of course, as always in this season, and I am joined by co-commentator JB. How you doing mate? I'm good, thanks Davo. Uh, welcome all. Great to be here. Yes, at welcome, Bathurst. Welcome, and welcome to Bathurst, everyone. That's right. Um, enduro tonight. Enduro. Yes, it is. Uh, we're looking at what is it? A 75 minutes. So, uh, now 15. I think that's close. to set a lap. So, about around 30, 38. About 38 laps. For these yeah, guys go, go mini, mini enduro. Anyway, but mini uh, <laughs> 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 look, we didn't get a chance last week because we. we Sort of, we're rushed at the start. Look, I think I think we're rushed at the start every week, JB. <laughs> we every are. every week just throws another challenge in front of us. Um, whether it's and you stress me out sometimes, man. <laughs> <laughs> Enough oh. of these technical difficulties. I was stressed so. myself out. But um, <laughs> if it's not at our end here, we've had server issues. Um, I think it was last week and. Yeah, all sorts of all sorts of things can happen in this with all this technology going on. But uh, we didn't get a chance to talk about points. Um, it is round four tonight, so maybe we can bring up some points on the screen here if we can get some of this newfangled wizardry going. Yes. And uh, let's talk points, JB. What do you, what have we got? What's, well, what's what going I, on? What, well, we know Jake McKellar still held on to that lead. He did have a twenty point lead uh, going into Zandvoort. That's been yes, you know, chopped in half. Ten points now, I think. So he's sitting on two hundred and eleven <laughs> points. Um, Mikendo now moving forward after having that far better round there with the second and the fourth. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that moved him up. So he's close now. He's within ten points. And you don't need to look uh, much further behind and another 10 points back to see Mudgy. He's been um, banking some solid results in that back half there at um, round three in Zambor. Yeah, a in second course, and a third. Yeah. So that was a great drive from Mark Mudgeway there. Um, Glyn Dewar, one point behind that. So he's knocking on that podium too. So oh. we know we know he's got pace at the moment in that Bentley. But also uh, carrying two. He, he won both those rounds, Davo, yeah. in that sprint round. So... He's carrying ballast now, the maximum, yeah. 30 kilos. So Both, both watch, him yeah. and the next place getter, Luke Compton, Ooh. both have had some shocking luck, I, yes, I, I would say, yeah. in the first three rounds. You know, like these guys have been quick and probably should have been up the points later a little bit more, but had that, some terrible luck, both of them. Noting, actually, with Luke um, not present, um, gone down with a bit of an oh. illness there. So, so yeah. uh, thoughts with you there, Luke, to recover um, quickly. Of course, um, of course. Hope you're watching. Yeah. Hope you're watching, yeah, so... Um, well, I trust you're watching, actually. You should 170, be watching. <laughs> 100, 170 points in, in fifth, so still a good bank of points um, there. Maxwell Hawkins in sixth place, Steve Wilton in seventh, uh, Ashley Berger and eighth, ninth Steve Crosland and rounding out that ten um, in the pro am the uh, Gunter Rowe. So uh, nice yeah, he's not far. 151 points. So he's got 50 points off the off the lead at the yep. moment. Yeah. Um, but early days, Davo. Early days, but I, I do notice just mentioning Gunter there in tenth in the championship has um, done some nice early practice. Yes, times this evening, so yeah, nice work. Um, yeah, been a bit of a mixed, mixed podiums actually, hasn't it? Over the first three rounds, and um, which sort of shows a little bit in the points. But uh, here we are at Bathurst. This will straighten a few of them out, I reckon. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Mate, I think a few of these cars will need straightening out after this round. <laughs> we know that Bathurst oh, is a car killer. Oh. So it's uh, surrounded by uh, concrete walls up the top of um, the mountain there after you get up through mountains straight up through Griffin's Bend Absolutely. all the way up through to the top to the skyline right to the first I mean, oh. con concrete the whole way, Dave. It doesn't there. stop, and, um, doesn't stop. Seriously, oh seriously unforgiving track. Um, yeah, car killer, like you said. 
Yeah, so these, these boys, Davo, they're going to have um, uh, qualifying eight-minute duration coming up um, shortly as they come out of driver's briefing in the next few minutes. And um, that's, you know, eight minutes, two minutes a lap. Uh, what do we got? We've got so not a one-lap flyer, cars. but it doesn't give a, a lot of time, does it? No, no. So we got uh, 20 on the grid at the moment. Um, yeah tonight here for the Enduro at Bathurst. It's going to be a, a uh, early start uh, for, for, for race time, but I think we're fairly late in the afternoon, I think, here. Um, yeah, that's right. 12 hours um, <laughs> difference. difference uh, quali yeah. They're qualifying um, yeah, in the afternoon here on Saturday and um, for their early morning Sunday start. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, so yeah. You Quality will be everything here. <laughs> everything, like we, like we mentioned, not a one lap dash, but eight minutes um, qualifying time around Bathurst is not much time. <laughs> you want to get your shit together pretty no, bloody quickly. That's right. So I'll and give you yourself and the viewers a little bit of data on where the boys are sitting and after, their, after their practice session. Uh, we've got Josh at the top on a 202.4 coming out of practice there. Oh, um, yeah, Stonely next on a 203.2. So he, Josh, a good part of eight tenths quicker to, yeah. to second place. So yeah. that's, we know Josh commanding, is, uh, commanding <laughs> that, absolutely In very the strong here at Bathurst. Um, McIndo, third, uh, sorry, Jake McKellar, no surprises up top there. Nick McIndo in fourth, Glenn. Who are going to row Maxwell Hawkins, Steve Wilton, Enright, and then Mudge Ray rounding out that top 10. Yeah. Like that's for 205.1 of Mudge. So nearly two seconds off the pace in the practice session at the moment, they both. From so first, top, from from first, first to 10. Yep. There yeah. you go. Um, and um, so. like we mentioned, totally different times for qualifying to race start. So. Um, yeah, track conditions will clearly change between now and the green flag dropping. We've got a couple of seconds to go into either brief, and I think the guys will start to roll out. Yeah, that's right, Davo. And, um, this is one you're going to want to get those, be checking those uh, temperatures straight off the bat before you roll out because. You know, it's all good to rush out and, and get your lap underway, but if you're on the wrong kind of tyre pressure, you, you're not really going to have... You're going to waste half your qualifying session driving around yep. the track to get back in the pits. So these guys, obviously, you know, you can't just escape back to the pits. You've just got to drive your lap all the way back. So, And uh, once once you're in that quali mode, yep. you've got to find that space. So, Oh, Dave, I, I love this track. It's, uh, it's one of my favourites. One of the viewers' favourites, I'm sure, too. So, oh, can't wait for this. Absolutely, JB. I'm sure the drivers can't wait either as they roll out onto the track for their warm up lap. Uh, here we are, Bathurst, round four. GT3 Season 1 at ASRNZ in 2022. Josh Vertiger, one of the early cars out. Yep, and so just, he's on to it straight away, isn't he? He is, and um, probably not a bad choice, as we have mentioned a couple of times already, eight-minute qualifying session. You want to get it together pretty, pretty early and get that banker in. We already um, see him up behind the back of... Um, at Bentley that's there of Enright, so a, um, it's a BMW there. Oh, sorry, the BMW. So it looks like Enright's just waved him by to get on with his Nicely lap, and probably uh, good spots there to probably tag on the back and <laughs> Enright can get on with his lap as well. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> too true, so, too true. Um, look, these guys, um, yeah, it's going to be tough, Davo, um, strategy-wise once they get to the race. Um, we know that they don't have enough fuel in the tank to make full distance, so they um, will serve their compulsory pit stop at some point of the race inside yep. that pit, pit window, and whether or not they take tyres um, is one thing. So the strategies that could so, unfold here, I would say the strongest one should be the 50-50, so to go to half distance, maybe, what's that? 
around 18 laps. Yeah. Um, in, um, start with that much fuel so your car's nearly empty, put that much fuel in again. Which we're talking, you know, probably around 78 litres of fuel. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then um, and going again, so you've got you know, a very balanced car through those two sessions. Otherwise, our alternate strategy would be to start with a full tank, um, just take a little splash of fuel at the end to get home and, and not change your tyres. It's probably a good, you know, 20 seconds, 20... Good alternative. Four seconds. Yep. That'll gain, but if it's can, all... that, can that tyre hang on to the end, Dave? Yeah, the <laughs> well, that's mm. the point, isn't it? Um, and uh, that's the gamble. Look, do these, some of these cars, like the Porsche, have a lot of fuel, uh, smaller fuel tanks and whatnot? Is it, is it affected? Yeah, I'm not... Like some I'm of the longer not, maybe? Yeah, I'm sure there is discrepancies in those fuel tanks, without a doubt. Um, I wouldn't imagine by too oh, much, but... Um, but on a short run like this, it, it would yeah, affect they, them, clearly. No, they can, they're still... Everyone's still going to have to take fuel anyway. Yeah, it's a compulsory so, but, thing. But I did but, hear um, Mark talking about his Porsche, and once yeah, that well, that's fuel came in, about, that, that, um, yeah. where the fuel tank was located, he just wasn't getting that front grip. Oh, it felt okay, like the front yeah. wheels were in the air, and he was struggling to get that turn in in that Porsche. So there that's going to be a real handful for Mudgy, I think, tonight, and also carrying ballast as well. So it to a to tough night for him. Okay. Well, just picking up on Josh Vettiger coming through in the Porsche down through the chase, down to the final corner. Uh, actually, I think Steve Wilton's already got a time in, so yeah, Carl has already done a 203, not too shabby. Josh not a bad Vettiger, time. Here we go. Straight to the top with a 02147. Aaron Enright. Yeah, good time there. Mac, uh, Jake McKellar putting in a 203 flat, Dave. Yeah, good solid lap there. Jake, uh, so got Craig Stonely just coming down in the final corner, going a bit deep, just pushing the brakes there. Pops oh. it up in two. <laughs> they really push it <laughs> to limits there. Uh, who was I looking for here? Mark Mudgy. See where he is. Just come. Around the final corner, puts the Porsche in seventh. Anybody you're looking at there at the moment? Yeah, I was just watching back to see where Glenn was um, tracking. Um, it looks like he's either missed out on his first lap for whatever reason, or just oh, he came out late. late. Out of the, late yeah, out of the he, block, did, so he did come out late. Finding a bit of clear air there. Fair enough. Um, so, um, the car's looking pretty well, pretty nicely spaced on track, Davo, from what I'm seeing. Um, one car already in the pits of Kenny Simpson. Um, yeah. He hasn't recorded a time yet either, so a few problems there for him. But um, a couple of these guys already, I'm looking at Craig Stone, 1.5 up on his time. So if he was a 2052 for his best time, he's looking to move up significantly when he gets the slap done. Um, yeah, and he had a, uh, he did struggle through the final corner, but that should show to the, so he's clearly um, also struggled at the early part of the lap there too, so showing some big gains there, just on Jake McKellar at the moment, who is currently in, oh, just dropped a third, as well, Wilton goes across the line. P2 for Wilton, so good. Uh, in the twos, right. in the twos. Jake McKellar down to the final corner. Nick Davidson, that's a great time for him, sitting in sixth place there uh, with a 204.4. Oh, Jake into two with an 025. Nice work from Joe. So those guys swapping positions a bit up the front behind Josh. But, they are, um, they are. <laughs> Just trying um, to pick up on the next. Here Craig, comes Craig Stonely Craig across Stanley. the line. Oh, nice work in the four. four. So good game. But there. in the twos again with a two nine. Look, we did see some two o ones and early um, practice sessions throughout the week. So a little bit off the pace, but that could be down to temp a little bit of temperature there. For sure, Brad Robinson just across, getting himself into the top ten with a four six. Yes, great time there. My Brad. Mark Mudgeway just struggling, as we talked about earlier, back in 11th there on a 2047 in right. 
not far behind him. Glenno just coming down off the hill now as well, well up on his time with a probably a second up his up his sleeve. He, he'll need more than that though, won't he, uh, JB? Oh, absolutely, mate. Um, as we see, you know, the time's about to run out, so that last car to cross the road's going to be the number. The line will be the number seven. But, yep. Um, so qualifying now closed. The uh, laps that these guys are on uh, is that's, uh, that's it. That's it. You see Brendan Rolfe, he's coming up to that final turn. And one of those cars I noticed that is actually still out is Josh Redegar. Jake McKellar's still out. Wilton's in. Stoneley's out. McIndoe's out. Here comes Glenn Dura into sixth in the battery. three, five, so that's a good game for Glenn there. Oh, Josh Redegar in the ones. You did mention the ones, a one eight. So put yep. really stamping his authority on the race in qualifying here right now, uh, JB. Yeah, that's right. Uh, just keep an eye on Nick McIntyre as well as he's going to cross his last flying lap. Makes no improvement there. Fifth for Nick. And Gunter on Rowe comes up into seventh. Brad Robinson around the final turn in the McLaren. No gain on his time. We've got Pete Apsey and Vaughan. Vaughan coming down to the final turn now. JB. Here it comes, the closing stages of this qualifying session here. That is going to be the crunch time for these boys where now That's they it, know where they, where they stand. Good time there for Pete and 15th, uh, 205.5. Uh, good second ahead of his uh, mate Ashley there running a Porsche in the 206.5. So, so that's one, one solid one, effort. One, one for Pete there. Um, yeah, Bobby Laycock is, uh, on, you know, back in uh, 19. This is a hard, hard gig for some of these new guys around the, <laughs> these top pro guys. 208.6. So oh, great, yeah. outstanding time there from Bob. But, um, Mate, but uh, like, it's, like, we it, are at Bathurst, and like you said, there, there's a bit of there's a bit of quality in the t in the field. And, so. Yeah, and, and some of these guys will go. How do I go seven seconds faster? <laughs> it's just um, it's just insane. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Look, and the O ones are quick. There's no two ways about it, guys. These guys are freaks. They're, they're freakishly quick. <laughs> One of them, I think, I saw in practice that we don't see on the track at the moment. I think was. Um, John McDonald name I thought I saw out there. <laughs> yes, like I said, it was one of my it is one of my favourite tracks. So good to be out there and ever practice with the lads. Awesome, feel it out. But look at that, Davo. We've gone to um, the grid. Uh, it's dark. The lights are on. Uh, the pulse rates have gone up in some of these boys oh, now. And, you know um, it. You know woo. it. <laughs> it's on now. It's on. It's, and. Uh, well, well, look, what do we, what do they do here? Do we still do this full formation lap, even though we're at Bathurst? Uh, yes, JB. Yes, uh, yep, they'll still do the full formation lap. So, I guess in their fuel calculations, they'll have to um, allow for that too. We add that. No doubt. Um, one track you really don't want to run out of fuel on is this one. Uh, we've <laughs> seen, we've seen plenty do it. It's um, a long walk home. <laughs> track to the pits. It is. Um, wow. I think the TAB's odds that I'm here, Josh just paying a dollar five cents, so <laughs> you're not getting much money back from him. No, um, well, just give him his lead up. He, he's just had huge success here at Bathurst, and um, um, it's going to be it's going to be a hard one to, to to beat here unless something drastically goes wrong. Um, McIndoe and nice. Farmer, uh, watch that battle. Yeah, uh, no, Stone, nice work Stoney, from McKellar, um, Actually, just a stay with him with another oh one so yeah so this time jake um just outside the um bop he's we know he's carried it yeah all those um last rounds but getting a seventh and an eighth at um zanford he's um he's skipped skipped away from that so he's, he has. He, 
He'll be feeling a lot lighter. He's a good position for this. Two seconds to go. Lights are on. The boys start to... Fantastic Will stuff. start to roll off. You're getting itchy feet. I can hear it in your oh. voice. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys. You just you guys always get itchy feet halfway through the season. You won't get back in the car. Understandably, especially when we come to a place like this, it uh, gets the juices flowing. Yeah, look, uh, dark out there, and this is going to be a bit um, different for some of these lads to, to deal with. You know, they've just come out of some, some bright practice. And, um, yeah, and particularly for some of the new guys, which may not have driven in, you know, alternate, you know, alternative sort of conditions, you know, like rain and night time or whatever, you know, like this can be pretty daunting, you know, we've got 20 odd cars on track, headlights, tail lights everywhere. Bathurst isn't the easiest place. <laughs> it takes takes no prisoners, Terry. I know, and a lot of these guys are going to be nervous about the very first lap for sure once they get underway. Because right, um, so. through through the section um, we're watching now, uh, yeah, this is where it all starts to get gnarly, man. Like the from Griffin's been turned two all the way, especially up here into the cutting, where the field's going to really compress. Um, slow up as they go in here and um, it's not going to take much for a one car on the colder tyre, you know, give you oh, a peg, just, just to get a little bit sideways and, um, and up to before you know it. Here, <laughs> it's, pretty, it's easy to do, isn't it, to get a car turn oh. there and it's just carnage. There's nowhere to go, very difficult, you can block the whole track. And it can, in the blink of an eye, you're, yeah. either, you're, you're caught up in it or you're just uh, fist pumping and left the field behind you. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, Look, that's the cruel nature of this, this place, and, um, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. um, to, to give yourself the best uh, shot at it, you've got to be um, further up the pointy end at the start. So, hey, look, we've seen the, the top guys still get it wrong. This is a classic place to Had get it read. wrong. Yeah. Um, leading up to Skyline here, where it can really unfold. There, uh, well over 200 k's as they oh. approach. Um, Doesn't uh, it yeah, unfold to quickly? Skyline. Yeah, and um, before you know it, you're turning left, right, left, right, and it's just narrowing up. And um, huge crashes we've seen here through the um, supercars. Chaz Mostert really um, smashing the car up after the S's there. Um, passes through the dipper and um, totaling his car. And actually doing quite a bit of damage to his, his body too there at um, Forest Elbow. But oh, yeah. he's one of many victims here, Davo. He is absolutely... The boys, you can see Bathurst in the background there in some of these shots. These guys try and get a little bit of temperature as they run down Conrad there. A lot of weaving going along. Great looking field at night here, JB. This looks fantastic, my friend. It does, and can't wait to see that sun come up too in the morning. And um, Yeah, so that's look, gonna look great. It is, it is. So welcome, everybody. I'm, I, Welcome to everybody that's watching live and welcome to the boys that are going to watch it after the race. We've got to thank, of course, ABC Tech for all our servers and uh, everything online for uh, ASRNZ. Zero Vision Motorsport for technical support, as always, and SJS, a major sponsor and um, committed to all things ASRNZ. When it comes to racing, good on them. We're just about to go racing here, I think, JB. The boys are trying to get formed up. It's messy at the back. <laughs> oh, the mate, guys, they're this nervous, is, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, this is, um, yeah, the nerves will all be kicking in now, keeping their space to the other car. For Have sure. I got everything done right? Do we see yes. anyone dip into the pits? Oh, God, the we're, here cause we're nervous up, but... too. We're nervous too <laughs> up here. We're hoping all the boxes so, the tickets. Hope this stream goes well. Well, thank you for joining us. This is round four. We're at Bathurst. It's an Enduro 2022 GT3 season ASR. And said, let's go racing. The green flag has dropped. JB. Yes. Look at Josh go straight away. Man, that's that uh, starting position there. And, um, Absolutely. Through, through uh, Hell Corner. They're up Mountain Straight now. They all look like they got through there cleanly. Great run from Stonely there. You can see already. 
putting the pressure on. Here they come, up into three, or two, should I say. Very difficult corner. This is where we all start holding our breath, drivers included, as they run up to four and five here, the cutting. So easy to get it wrong. Watch yes. the boys here. This is where it can start to get a little bit messy. But um, we're already seeing some cars side by side at the back there. Yeah, nice Davidson. work, nice work. As they flick across the top, Wilton in fourth. High commitment over the top here, easy to whack the Is there a car off already? Who's that? It's a car, Craig Stonely, getting it wrong just, be just before Skyline. Off into the sand trap. Oh, he's, re he's recovered, me. he's recovered well, but he's certainly... Okay. I'll just try and pick up on that as the, uh, the rest of the field run down the mountain. Stanley really close up behind. I think it was Jake McKellar there. Oh, maybe it Very was dark. Just got that bit of a flick. It was Stanley. Gets it up. Uh, yeah, Nicely. Yes, yes. Uh, yeah, timing's a, it's a little bit slow on my end, Davo, but I thought it was the yeah, Mercedes. It was the Mercedes at the top of the hill. We just see. Josh Vettiger here, uh, down through the chase and down to the final corner for the first lap. How about that? How about oh, that? Oh. Oh. I'm holding my breath. I'm, not, I'm, I'm looking oh. and everyone looks like they've got through the first lap. There's no, no tail in Charlie's. Um, well, they've done, done a really, really. <laughs> yeah. They've done a really good job. It's totally had a, a little bit of a heartbeat moment there across Skyline, but gathered it up, didn't get any contact with Wall. It looked like he actually just overcorrected something. So we just see, oh, in the background, I think that's actually B-Dog. Oh, it is B-Dog, but it a a B-Dog. Something's happened there. So we just pick him up as he comes across the start finish line here. Get a little yeah. bit of a little, little bit of heat from Brad Robertson. Yep, Brad just on the back of the um, friend in there. And oh, so a few other cars, unfortunately, they're getting caught up in that. Uh, yes, there was actually a couple of cars getting tangled up in that as they all re-enter, although a little on top. You've got to get back up the front here. Just quickly check on this and just focus on what's going on as the boys find their space. JB, talk us through it. Here we got. We do have Josh Vettiger out the front. Yep, still Quite, leading from Jake. Yeah, yeah 0.4 second margin. Then looks like equal gap to um, Wilton there as well. The sparks are flying at night time. But those um, top three guys of Vett Josh, Jake, and Steve Wilton have um, just gap gap the other guys. Um, they they're gone up the road. We can't help but think um, Nick McIndoe's just caught up in this battle with Jua here. Oh, McKellar. Um, McKellar has a crack at the Ferrari. Just is sorry to cut you off there, JB. But uh, McKellar all eager down the straight into the chase in the Lexus. But uh, sorry, mate. Carry on. Yeah, no, that, that, that's good. That's good to pick up on that stuff. I mean, it's good to see Jake is piling the pressure on Josh isn't having it his way straight off the bat, <laughs> what I'm hearing, so, so go Jakey. Um, just um, in the top 10 there, we've got Mark Mudgeway. Um, he's running around the 207 second mark against the leaders in about a two minute four. Yep. So a good three seconds, uh, two and a half seconds off the pace of the leaders back in that pack. Um, Aaron Enright just caught up in the in behind um, Mark Mudgeway and we know Mark going to just be suffering from their BOP and we've already seen in right a pile of pressure on there. Yeah, and, and going for an outside in hey, two, two. And, oh, does he the make it stick? He might make it work here. They're side by sides. Yeah, I think oh, uh, the no, opportunity they... was there, but they're just um, thinking, look, hey, there's a long race. We're only two, 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 two laps in. Maybe, maybe going around the outside uh, is um, not quite good. Right. Just yet, two, so two. Think, too early <laughs> <laughs> and and that's right they uh, these guys are gonna have to take into account that i um, you know any little brushes on the wall or bits of contact that they might have they're going to carry for the rest of that race and 
ultimately yeah. um, that will affect the aero performance, especially over the top of the, That's a big the track. Road. We see a car already. Um, just oh, for that Brendan Rolf's there. car. I'm not sure who. Someone's. Yep, we've got Brendan is actually back in the pits, but there is a slowing car. Oh, there's a car. Who is? Oh my goodness. Car sideways in the middle of the track that they had to avoid back in the. I think it's the car of Brad Robinson actually, um, in the scary part of the track. Yeah, that was up um, the top just before Sullivan Park there. Um, so, oh, not a, not a, not a place you sideways. As we just pick up on Mark and Aaron at it again, and Mark off on the inside into the chase. Big, oh. big slip as uh, Enright went around the outside of it. We We'll pick back up on this, I think. Yeah, and look, that pace of that BMW is... Um, from, from the helicam. Certainly. Aaron on the outside, down into the chase here. I, I don't think there Mar was any contact. I think Mudgy just might... Yeah, just got a little no, bit inside the ripple strip. Yeah, and it's just... Um, Luckily, he didn't actually make more of a mess of that, because yeah. um, oh, that could have really gone wrong, but... Um, <laughs> if it got, uh, you know, if it got right all the way around, he would have been backwards in the sand, so... Ah, oh, tricky place. That's, this is Bathurst, everyone. This is what it does. Yeah, and those top two guys, Josh and Jake, are actually trading similar lap times um, at the moment. Two minutes, three point eight. Uh, Farmer just a little bit off the pace on, on back there in third, um, but it doesn't really show on track. And, uh, Gutter and Gutter and uh, Nick Bacado in fourth. They're actually trading good times as well. Yep. Very very close last lap. Um, as we just hear the pit window open, JB would probably uh, make mention of. I think just thinking about uh, Mickendo's performance from last round with a second and a fourth. Um, say so, uh, he would be carrying a good 20 kilo cement bag in the back of that BMW too, so that will be... Uh, <laughs> no doubt. Certainly um, hindering the performance of that car. So just uh, picking up on Maxwell Hawkins, I think it is, progress, as we just start to see a little bit of ambient light coming onto the, onto the scene. Still quite dark, but you can just start to see the features of the landscape come through. Beautiful looking morning in Bathurst here. JB, Max, back in eight, not too bad. And, uh... Yes, Max, back in eighth there, so tra tracking along nicely. Um, a lot of these guys wanting to just keep some of this um, stuff smooth. Oh, we do see another car there. I think that's Max, actually, that might into be the Max. wall. Yes, making his home. Like, looks like it's actually uh, turn one, Davo. It is um, turn one. And just... he's, he's actually just put his car back in the pit, so... He must have been struggling with some sort of car failure there then. We just the uh, camera guys just pick up from the outside it's of the come corner here. And it's just just gone sideways. It has. It's not, 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 not much um, off that ripple strip like you say, but enough for it to just fire it into the wall. Yeah. That head-on damage obviously is not going to do that car zero any good. But So back um, in the pits for Max. Half gig. Down here, my king chasing as Rediger. Let's have a look out of the helmet cam from the McLaren. Look at this coming down off the mountain. Like I said, you can just see a little bit of ambient light coming up, but the headlights still most definitely required. I wish they had the headlights like this in Dirt Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're lucky if you end up with head headlights left at the end of the day, really. Yeah, we're too true. <laughs> uh, um, but, see, uh, while we're on board with Mike King, I'll keep reviewers informed that um, Wilton is piling the pressure on Jake Keller for second place. 
at the front. And um, also Gunther on the back Gunther of the Road, road yeah. as well. So, so um, might getting through that final corner there after Conrad straight through the chase and um, as he approaches Duff into the final corner Murray's and like really tricky corner David that last one you've done such a good lap and you get to the last these last two corners here oh. Murray's and they're only a 90 degree corner but for some reason they're, they're, they're <laughs> really tricky you can um, struggle you can definitely struggle with it that's for sure so we'll pop a little bit what have we got here got to go on Nick McIndoe. Good work from Gunther there actually, just holding his own there. He's actually moved up from his, uh, where did he qualify actually? I'm thinking of his practice, early practice position, which uh, is in sixth. Yeah, but, yeah um, so he, he's up a spot. Um, Nick so, Davidson yeah. up a couple easily. Um, oh. tracking, tracking for a good, good result there too, Nick. For sure. Let's have a look, and you did mention this earlier, um, Steve Wilton, a.k.a. Farmer, from the comms box. The gap was, was a lot closer before. It's um, I think it only just, up a little bit. Like, I think it only just moved back just before the cameras clicked on there, actually. <laughs> so Steve with maybe just a little bit of a moment back as he dropped off the top of the hill there. But, uh, yes, you can see, again, this light ever-changing for the drivers. Eventually these guys will have sunlight in their face at some stage around this lap. and uh, They will come as a relief too as a driver just to see yeah. that little bit extra. Uh, as long as know, it's not Apex. piercing into your <laughs> retina. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's right. Um, is, who else we've got that's close? Ashley Vediger back on the back of Mule. Yes, Ashley's driving quite strong there so big uh, big glowing exhaust out of the back of the Porsches here they are amazing looking bit of kit at night I mean an exhaust that glows out red has got to sound great and we know the Porsche <laughs> sounds great too so always, always. <laughs> I think they've nailed it here um, noticed Brendan had a stop go 30 earlier, he's three laps down now, but um, first uh, two of the stoppers, Pete Epsey and Brad Robinson, we know they, well, Brad's actually down a couple of laps, but Pete has taken um, an early pit stop there, he's completed it, so he's um, first of the guys to complete his pit stop oh, and okay. um, be back go. on track, so He's looking for uh, maybe an undercut there. If it goes long to the end. So watch that space. We're just on board as the sun gets higher. Not quite over the hill yet, but uh, we're in Josh Pettigan's Ferrari here. He's out in front. Headlights are blazed still. You can see that as the distance here as he drops down under Conrad. He's actually coming up on Marcus here, JB. Do we uh, it or not. have a look on board, Dave, and to see how he deals with it? Oh, we are on board as we speak. Yeah. So let's just have a quick look at this. We'll, we'll just listen for a little, a little bit and then we'll get back to the action. sounds from the Ferrari there, JB, as he, he starts to reel. Um, I'm not sure who that is. Is that Maxwell, actually, in one of the BMWs there? But uh, coming up on a back marker. 
Yeah. Rapidly in the Ferrari. I think we've got Jake McKellar, Steve Wilton, very close at the moment as we look out of the back of McKellar's Lexus yes. across the top of the mountain. Sparks flying. Wilton close. Oh, oh the pressure. look at that. It's like that's a had the nose a, right up. Uh, wow. wow. Well, he, you'd hope he's going um, if he carries some good momentum here. There's a car stopped on the inside. They must have yep. got it wrong. Um, but uh, if you time this run right, um, Farmer, you're going to get a good run on McKellar. But we know that that um, Lexus has got some straight line speed. Just looking um, at Glenn Joy, he was further up the road earlier. Uh, he's gone backwards. Noticed a bit of um, scuffing on the windscreen, looking a bit Ooh, yeah. better. Looking yeah. better. So he something's we've missed something there, and there's a gaggle of cars behind that 21 of Mark Mudgeway in the, in the, well, he in was, the background. Glenn O was way up behind. Gunther there, so he's, he's gone well back there. And uh, oh, we see the 34. Oh, something's something's happened. 34 to the 34. Around. Oh, let's have a look at that. Got a 30 second there, Davo. Yes, it's he's, actually. He... Is it down at the elbow? It's down at the elbow. He's done oh, it by himself. He's done, he's done yeah, a mustard. He's done a monster. He's done a monster. Oh, oh the, and the car, car looks shocking. He's done it all on his own there. That's exactly he what did. we talked about earlier. Little, nick, we, on, little nick on the inside wall on the right hander. And and it just sends you outside. And wow, JB. Big Look, hit. That car, that car will have mega damage on it after Surely that. Surely he's got to come in. Look, he, can he, they he, do it with he, the he laps? Can't, he, can't, he can't steer it. He can hardly drive it. Headlights no. are blinking around. This is going to... Um, Here he comes. He can't hardly steer that car. Look at this. This is damage control now. Oh, these guys have had such bad luck through the, out the series. Been super quick. And look, this this car, this is a car killer. That battle, Davo, is still going on up the front between McKella and um, Wilson. As we flick back to it, the boys pick it up in the number two chopper. Sparks are flying. This You're right, is... that sun's starting to light that track up. Uh, well, the daylight's creeping into, isn't it? 5.48 a.m., Davo. So it's still, still early. Still is quite early. But at least these guys have got a bit of a gauge. They can see their apexes down the road now. <laughs> uh, before the headlights get to them. And they got a rough idea of what's going on. They would have memorized this track, but there's nothing like that. Just that little bit of uh, vision. Now, I've just flicked back um, to Ashley's Porsche. He's um, having a good run there on uh, Mill. Uh, I noticed just as he um, approached Comrade straight there to the elbow, he just whacked the wall a bit. So uh, we're actually pushing hard in that Porsche and. Um, doesn't quite have that legs at the legs, does it? On the on the Comrade Straight there, as they get up to around 280 kilometres down there. Yeah. But um, the Porsche a, bit, a lot better over the top, but just um, not quite in the straight line. Just doesn't have that uh, same horsepower. No, it just doesn't match it, does it? It's, uh, but they persist because the handling across the top makes up for it if he can stay close enough. <laughs> I mean, with like, uh, the ultimate cut of have here, wouldn't it, Davo, would be that uh, R32 four-wheel drive Godzilla back in uh, the days. Back in the day. The Jim Richard and what was it, Scafey, I think, r r running away with it, getting booed by the crowd for their, for their win. Yes. I think the quote was something like, this is bloody disgraceful. You're all a pack of assholes. Yeah, only in Australia you can get away with that. Oh, yeah. It wasn't long after that that we didn't see much of that Godzilla car, but um, that's what you want over the top, Davo. Four-wheel drive, turboed, piece of kit. We've got 174 metres of elevation from, you know, down, down at the bottom there in the pits to the top. Good piece of elevation there, up over the top. 
Oh, absolutely, isn't it? Then, hence the name, the Mount Panorama. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Yeah, of course, you'd expect a bit of elevation. World renowned track. Oh, everybody wants to race here. It's just one of those places. It's a, a bucket uh, list track for a lot of international drivers. And um, we, we're lucky enough to get to race it whenever we choose as sim races. <laughs> <laughs> and and we love it equally as much and and uh, look at the effort these boys are putting in farmer still right on the back of Jake McKellar we're gonna have to move back down through the pack and just check out what's going on behind Nick McIndoe a little bit further back than I, uh, I expected um, with Gunther Rowe not too far behind in fifth Nick Davison in another Lexus just a little behind in the Position in another Lexus, Craig Stonely. Aaron Enright in seventh, Mark Mudgeway in eighth, Mule in ninth, Ashley Bettiger in tenth. What do we got after that there, JB? Yeah, Mike King in that McLaren, um, 11th, Kenny Simpson on lap 10 there in 12th, Vaughan. Martin, new to ASR and Ted, doing solid effort there in 13th. Bobby Laycock, 14th. Pete Apsey, 15th. Glenn Dewar, big name there. Won the last two races as Ann brought back in 16th after we saw um, an incident all, all of his own. Um, I can't help but think that's come from some earlier contact or something um, that we missed. Rob, uh, bad, sorry, Brad Robertson, back in 17th. B Dog, 18th. Maxwell Hawkins back in 18. So we've got a few guys out there on track doing it. The field's definitely spread out into bunches of uh, into little groups and battles we're seeing now. Yeah, definitely. As we would normally expect in a, a race this long, and particularly on a track like it, um, like we see some of these times are really close, but. It, we, already noted that you know the cars they, they got strength and weaknesses in, in different parts of the track so over these laps um you know shit could happen pretty, pretty quickly happen, as, as you try and keep that yeah. gap close i so, can't help but think gunter Rowe's going to want to have a crack soon at nick mckendog um that gap let's have a right up and in fact gunter had a real good look we're really not cracking to one the one but um Big. Wide awake for that. And, uh, <laughs> and, and Gunther wasn't backing off. Big handful no, of oversteer. Look, looks like the pick's actually the same. Well, look, here we go, Gunther. Yeah, it's it's on the corner. Yeah, and um, carry on. So let's soldier on him. Look, Nick, Nick will know, you know, his car's got that extra weight. It's just not performing right for him. Back That's right. He's picked up the drive through just now. Um, But um, that, yeah, the battle, look at the farmer battle, it's just heated up now. Look, it wasn't look, hot look, enough there. already. Oh, Again, he's, he's so strong over the top, Dave. Oh, they're going to be approaching the car of, who's this car they're picking up on? What is it? The 34 of Glynn. The Glynn no, in, in, in the firing line. On, he will, he will respect down. these guys. So. We would have seen Josh Vettiger just skip past him as we took him up at Vettiger. He was just flick past at another back marker. Oh, these guys are going to catch him at lightning speed. The blue flag's waving for Glenn as they come into the pace there. It's all, yeah. it's all happening as Glenn moves to the side. Very respectful driver there. He lets these guys soldier on. Um, you don't have to look far up the road there, just sorry to interrupt there, but uh, that, that's Josh Redick's throw just there, um, that's right, that's heading, right. heading into one. These guys are well in touch, this, this, these guys haven't lost a lot of time for their little toing and throwing over the last few laps, so uh, well done to both of them, and I, I suppose, um, you know, <laughs> as we just see Wilton flash his headlights. Josh yeah. would be watching his times, wouldn't he, JB, and, and monitoring that distance to a certain extent, wouldn't he? 
Racing to go. And <laughs> yeah, it's a long way to go. Day, we've, we've got the sunrise coming up, so is that going to be the next factor they're going to have to deal with as they come across yep. skyline and be blinded by that light? But yep. look, isn't it isn't it a lot brighter now? Yeah, definitely. It would be a lot easier on the eyes for the boys now. They can probably just loosen the grip on the wheel and relax just a little bit. But uh, I, I don't know whether Jake McCullough would be relaxing just at the moment with Steve Will all over that race is and not going to give up anytime soon but this is where the race is at present stick on these guys for a little bit double points too on offer for this round too so these are zeros so you know very um, very incentive to get out there and get a good result because you get a bag of yeah uh, bag. The top guys are going to just um, move them well in the championship. Like, yeah. The guys of Jake there, big stage there he is. For sure. It's, but it's, it's funny because there's a whole bunch of other really top end races that aren't right up in the points. And for example, I suppose, it's Glen O and Steve Wilton for one reason or another. At the back of it, they've got the pace though. They haven't got the weight on their cars. And they want, they want it. They want that that double points hit just to get that little edge back, you know, and, and stick to the top guys. And they've all got a different mentality, haven't they? These, <laughs> these guys, the way they're racing their race. They do. Um, they both. We see um, casting my eye back in the ninth position and watching the all um, come forward slowly. Now starting to apply a bit of pressure on Mark Mudgeway. Mule's best time at 2.048, Mark Mudgeway's best time at 2.052. So there's gains of nearly half a second. Track and look, we see Mule already sizing up. Um, Mark just threw your uh, horsepower there. Now Mark remembering being into the wall once already in that course. Really yeah. Low part down into the, the chase very early in the race, I think it's one, like two, maybe three, uh, a little bit hungry on the ripple strip, I'm setting the back of that horse and um, the fence, although pretty gently, clearly he would, he would notice it, wouldn't he, JB, um, just that little bit of damage maybe? Oh, absolutely, in the car, it was hard enough to drive with. Look, as we see the day come to light now, it's looking fantastic out there. We'll drop it back here a little and look at this. I think it's um, Mule Ashley Rediger battle. Um, Mule. Well, probably the sandwich, the meat of the sandwich here is as he's got uh, Mudgy up in front and Ashley Bettinger behind, a couple of horses. And um, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's just he's just put, he's just pushing on, isn't he? In the in the Lexus, keeping it tidy, car looks clean. Yeah, I think um, in the next couple of laps, if not this one, we're going to see Mill um, clear <laughs> clear Mudgy just based on um, lap speeds that I'm seeing. Yeah. Um, probably the best place to get that done would be out of this turn here and up down the straight. Yeah. Nice, turn, um, nice tidy exit on this. Yeah. Can all give you a good run up the hill. Force probably lacking maybe a little bit of grunt. Alexis might be able to take care of it. Is that Ashley just breathing a little bit of fresh air out the side? Look at that power of that, that Lexus. It's, it's already right, pull, yeah. almost pulling up the side mark. But uh, we know around the outside, it's a long way around. We saw uh, <laughs> there was an Enright trying to do that, and he backed out in that lap two. Absolutely um, a long way round on that corner. 
Even when you're getting that corner right on the mark, it's a bloody long way around that corner. So, so anyway, Davo, uh, what, what I'm seeing is the guys are still out there, their tyres will be well into their cycle now. The uh, fuel will be coming down a lot. They're going to be looking, I think, in the, probably the next 15 odd minutes the pit stops will start rolling out from yep. the guys that are deciding to go 50-50. Any, any further past that, um, I think that alternate strategy will be um, probably coming into play. So it'll be interesting to see how those top three um, tackle that. Wilton getting at I think Wilton's had a crack, he's gone, he's around. And he's understood. He's past McKellar. Oh! And McKellar's going to have the horsepower to pull up beside him. But, he's going to um, have a crack. But we've, is he going to have to go the long way around? Can we stay there to the turn? Is Jake going to be able to cover? Jake's got him. Jake's, Jake's got well him. Got him. And that's, <laughs> uh, that's an unforced I, error. I, I think, personally, Jake actually gave him the space to. Make the first move. <laughs> he fucked it up. He went well. Stuff ya. Uh, <laughs> Gave you all that room. We'll take uh, that look, back. And that's right. This is only buying into Josh's lead now, too, isn't it? it, it well, it is now. It's size battle. <laughs> it wasn't before. Now it is. <laughs> oh, these guys are going nuts. We got a few down through the the grid here. Look, it's a bit hard to take your eyes off this because it is very. Very oh close. my god, they're so close as they come to the skyline. Unbelievably it's close. Unbelievably. The, the, the focus of these guys, like it looks close on track, but the intensity behind that wheel, I tell you, just these guys will be sweated. Because uh, any mistake, you know, that Farmer or Jake makes it, they're, they're going to take each other out. Yeah, yeah. And that's only going to buy into the hands of Gunter, to be honest, if something happens. Yeah. Well, oh, bad Gunter's a good, you know. Yeah, Gunter. Now, Gunter did get round McIndoe earlier, but McIndoe looks like he's got a. His car's come back on or something. Yeah, he's just sort of taking a breath and breather, and he's, if, if nothing else, he's holding the back of Gunter's car. He's not letting that run away from him. Yeah, uh, that's, that's right, David. Because I actually saw Davidson uh, ranging in on the back end of that battle. Too. I, I, I thought, thought Nick, I did too. I thought, I thought Nick might have been a bit vulnerable to Davidson too, but it looks like um, it's either a mistake from Gunter or Nick's actually um, up this game a bit. Just actually noticing as um, the, the driver of Davidson as he came down to through the chase of the final corner, someone must have had a big off there because those braking marker boards are gone. And as a driver, you rely yeah. on the 150 boards and 100 yeah. boards. That's going to be really tough for some of those guys down there. Uh, I think um, Muddy took a few out early on. <laughs> <laughs> just, just quietly. <laughs> on the inside there. But, uh, look. Yes, yes, me, that's right. You beat the <laughs> sideways through there, didn't you? Maybe, maybe a couple anyway. I'm yeah. not sure. Well, I can tell you they're not there now anyway. So, yeah. yeah. They, they, were, they were, I don't know, they were the, the early ones. So, I don't know, are they important? <laughs> These guys, no muck around. Oh, Ashley, Ashley's battle is very similar to that of um, the battle up the front. They both, those two Porsches now going for Oh, nose to tail, and uh, Mule actually dropping back. I wonder whether Mule is making a slight mistake. Now, Ashley's car is oh, yeah. very tidy and undamaged. Um, I'd, I'd be surprised if my team would be able to pick him out. But, uh, right? Yeah, both, both very experienced in racing. Yeah. And, um, and back, they know bad news like the back of their hand too. Um, sure. The car at the moment we know they're in the balance of the damage. So I tend to agree that um, Ashley's smart to keep his head down and focus. Yeah, both looking very solid on track, actually, as always, um, uh, except for when they're banging into something. But um, nice work, boys.
Uh, 11 degree temperature outside, um, the track temperature also at 11 degrees, so um, it, it is cool, but it is only 20 past 6 in the morning, so... As we see, just sorry to interrupt again, yes. JP, I apologise, Gunther Grove into the pits, is this the first Craig Stoney also in? Oh no, no, uh, I, I think he's Craig's out, Craig's out, out. Yep. yeah, Gunther Grove, they, yeah, they push that car way back in the transport. Yeah, it looks like it's missing half the but Gunther, back. Gunther into the pits. I think I'll partake myself. In right into the pits also um, near Devo. So this is it. This is all happening at the 40 minute mark. Um, these guys. Yeah, so Ashley Bediger in, Aaron Enright in. Uh, Mike King also rolling in. Now, the battle... So, so these, well, are, well, these are way longer stops than we, we, we get with the, the four and a half second stops in the sprint races. These guys have got to load up on a bit of fuel. Yeah. Some may not change the tyres. Oh, look, we see Ashley out and making a net gain there. Yeah. Aaron Enright's car still in the pits. Long long stop for Aaron. Did Aaron take tyres and the other guys didn't take tyres? Is that the I difference? I wonder. There you go. Aaron, that was a... Aaron in one of the BMWs. Is it, is it a car? Is it a make thing there too, maybe? As we see Wilton and McKellar down. These guys are going to have to separate then and go go into the pits with, I can't help but think Farmer Well they've already started to... they've already started to hold each other up anyway, we've noticed that just in the last few laps anyway where earlier they were doing okay weren't they? Yeah, or is this where the mind games come in and one stays <laughs> he just stayed because, because to be honest No, 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 you first it, that... No, 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 <laughs> you first Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, I know going to be hard to, to leapfrog Josh in the pits so, oh, for sure. and, and they don't really have too much competition behind them so um, they're, they're only really racing each other for the back end of this podium at this stage. Yeah, yeah. McIndo is McIndo in, in the pits. So it is on here people. Oh my god it just gets scarier across the out of the helmet yeah. of Wilton. <laughs> oh, I'm s nearly speechless. I'm never speechless, but I'm nearly speechless. It is. I just want to watch it. <laughs> it is scary looking. Wilton looks like he almost wants to put the nose up uh, beside McKellar's car before they go across in the skyline there, and it looks frightening. But he holds back and down the straight the Lexus. Look at the grunt of the Lexus. I'm seeing 276, 70, 277 kilometres from that Beamer. Yeah. yeah. Very, just a few k's more on that Lexus. But I, would, I think is it that initial punch and driving gets Wilton in. Wilton in. And you did, you did say this, they would have to separate them. Like if they'd come in together, oh, did Wilton get it? I saw that. It looks like he did. Oh. He's on the 50k limit. He took it right to the limit, though, it, Davo. It looked fast. He looked all sort of half cocked up <laughs> coming across the line there. Watch that space closely. Let's have a look. We've got Vaughan Martin also in. Wilton. Nick Davison coming in. Nice tidy stuff early on the, the pit limiter. Nice work, Martin out. Wilton still in. Is Wilton Stop taking tyres? Is he taking tyres? It's a long time. It's taking a long time. I think it's more than more than like 10 seconds, Davo. Yeah. So he's got a green box next to his name. He's it gives him that chance. Of of like as he exits the pits, but he's 
It's cleared the back marker too, which is important because you don't want to come out and be stuck behind the back marker no. as you're just, he's already been battling with Jake. He just wants to run straight away. That back marker is Brad Robertson. Wilton out and on his way. Jake McKellar just coming down the hill, off the mountain, through Forest Elbow, and onto Conrad. Behind a back marker himself, another McLaren, mind you, not sure. Yeah, this is where Jake's thinking, do I go another lap and get, well, and get, get, get my way through this back marker, or do I dive in? I suppose it depends the, where he ends up. Looks like he's got a few more corners just here. Things can change just in a couple of corners here. Right, right come up behind the back markers here. Look, what would you say? Would he go in? Yes? No? No! no. He's, he's staying out. He so thinks he's, he's going to get this guy out of one. And no? Yeah, he is. Yes, yeah, well done there. He stepped aside nicely, very oh. respectfully with the blue flags, has he? I'm not sure. Is he's, that oh, Mike King? He's, he's, he's really he's a Bobby it. Laycock or Mike King there. McLaren. It's Bobby Laycock actually. Nice work from Bobby there. Just Bob Laycock uh, out of the way. Making him work for it all the way to the end, but hey, I'm still letting him <laughs> pass. <laughs> <laughs> well, why wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, he's hey, I'm still racing on. I'm the famous Bob, Bobby Bobby Laycock. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> yeah, don't you know who I am? <laughs> yeah. Um, his. Josh is coming up on the back of some back markers too now. This, um, this is upsetting Josh's rhythm. And and this is, the there's a few there actually, there's three of them. Yep. There's two directly in front and another one just a little further down the road. Just more upsetting his rhythm like JB's mentioned. And he can't do anything about it, Dave O'Dre here. Neither can they really. No, to get off the, no, they they get can, off the gas is, is and really it's dangerous. Yeah, da 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 dangerous. Yeah. So you would expect down here somewhere one of these. Just roll off a little. Just roll off a little. Josh clearly having to work for it. And Alexi in front just goes, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, I oh, gotcha. Oh. <laughs> Look, Josh is a race leader. Those blue flags are waving the whole way down Comrade there. Now that is a mule, Mudgy, and, and Mudgy in front. Now are they racing for position, those two guys? They, they, are, they definitely are. What's Josh going to do? Like, I would have thought these guys would have stepped aside by now, at least one of them. Here we go, this, this it's, mule it'll, is going to roll it'll, out, no. It'll, it'll come back, as if mule gets out of it, there you it, go. Mark's going to have to do the same. So the Bill and, and Carlo, even though you know there's a gap forming between them, it will, um, they will rejoin back together. Yeah, it's so difficult to do when you're having your own battle there, isn't it? To roll out and, and, and try and chase that fast car and keep your little thing going on. And Mule's done that really well, actually, just looking back there. So nice work, get straight back on. Uh, the back of Mudgy there. And carries That's right, so there carries on, this carries fight. on, and yeah. the leader gets through. So it's tough, yeah. you know, because they, they are racing hard and they think, oh no, I've got to let the guy through, but it's something you just have to do as a race car driver. And your battle still will eventually. We saw that on screen, Dave, by how that played out. 6.41 a.m. in the morning, 30 minutes to go. Track is optimum. Temperature's gone up one degree to 12 degrees. Uh, pit stops are starting to play out now. The last of the two to go, Josh and Jakey on the lead. One and two. Where will they fall back into the group? The Ferrari and the yes. Lexus of Steve Wilton. Wow. Wow. And and what 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 6 a.m. 6:42 a.m. gives you is a little bit of sun direct sunlight poking through the trees. These guys might get a flash of sunlight here and there. Uh, running around the track here over the next few laps. This can be a little blinding if you don't have your Polaroids on. I tell ya. So, uh, 
Now, I've just kept an eye on the times that Jake McCullough is doing on track with the heads and cut it. Last lap was a 2039, and Farmer, last lap was a 20 flat. So, yeah. they still like the interval lap times. Yeah. That is with um, Farmer on the front. You'd think on the fresh tyre, maybe. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're thinking that anyway, aren't we? Back Jake nearly going. Little here, little here, little here on Mudgy on the outside into two. Round the outside nicely. Can he get the braking done? Fantastic move. That's up mountain straight, isn't it? We saw that, yeah. that horsepower really um, playing to Mule's strengths in their Lexus earlier. Yeah, um, definitely. Couldn't quite go around the outside. Look at the scrapes on the side of Mule's car. Yeah. And all over Mudgy's car too. These yeah. guys have <laughs> been in the wall, haven't they? <laughs> Neither of them look at real flash, you know. No. But, uh, it, 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 it's just a Bathurst thing, I think. It's just Bathurst. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, like you mentioned, Jake McKellar still staying out and cutting some serious time. Josh Vedigan still out, just rolling down off the top of the hill here. The sun has risen over the mountains in the back there of the Blue Mountains. And now, as they approach the top of Skyline, they've been like, yeah, those yeah, rays of sunshine. It. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, as a driver, as you come up over there, blinded by that. Wow. So, yeah, nice vision. Oh, no, we've seen car of Gunter Road in the wall at the final turn. What has happened to him? Looking back. We'll just go, the boys have picked that up on the replay. He's just dropping down in the final turn here. Currently holding fifth position. Little he's wide. Just, oh! He's just picked up the ripple strip. And Gunter's sitting in fifth, fifth position there, so. Yep. Really? Has that gifted the position to Nick Davidson after all of that? Nick Davidson does slip past him there, yeah, actually, he does. before he one, so nice work from Nick. Dollar drive from Davidson there. And, and, uh, a, and a big sigh of relief from McIndoe, who's battled with those two the whole way and come out, to, come out ahead. For sure. Um, Back to, car. back to Mark, actually, up back to Mudgy, he's just been past him. Uh, 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 this is one of the leaders, actually, I think he's gone past him. Lexus, Blue Wheels. Uh, Jake McKellar. Jake So now right, he's so ranging up on Mule at the moment. So this is uh, second position, Jake McKellar. And Again, weaving his way through back markers now. Now, uh, these, these back markers are, these back markers are ninth and tenth. Point two. JB. They are ninth and tenth. And again, like, having to deal with the traffic. Not ideal. And we see Jake in the wall. Oh, Jake badly. Jake the wall and for his elbow. Oh, pinballs one side and the other. That is to do with the, the, the lap traffic, Davo. There you go. Loss of concentration. We'll just watch him here in the replay as he drops down. Off the hill. You know, look, there's nowhere for Mule to actually really go here at this point because this oh. the blue flags are waving but there's nowhere to go for either of them but jake just showing jake. inside having a little look on the inside carried, just carried way too much line. speed didn't he, he yeah. just like was way offline and just drilled the wall it's surely that car's coming in now no it's uh, it not it's uh, he's sticking to his strategy he must be sticking to his strategy I, jake's going long isn't he he must have started with a full tank he's going to run this right to the bottom of his tank take okay. a splash and take and probably I'd say take no tires. He's just gonna this okay. this car is gonna be a handful to the end for the next 25 minutes for Jake, and he's gonna be living with himself it. for that <laughs> for that, for that, 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 that era. little mistake. There you yeah, go. And, and look, this is only gonna bind uh, um, farmers' hands. 
And if we can see it happen to a like front guy like Jake McKellar, would Josh make the same mistake? Yeah. And and and, and Steve Wilton with his head down tonight and uh, definitely focus here at Bathurst, mate, for round four, so. Yeah, watch that space. Josh Vediger, when does he come in? Comes off the mountain, sun directly in his eyes as they drop off the skyline. Difficult view. And down to the scene of uh, Jake Keller's little faux pas there earlier. Yeah. Oh, this 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 could shake the whole thing up, couldn't it? Uh, I think it would. Look, uh, look, even to, depending on when he stops and how he stops, yep. and the, the damage that's happened to Jake's car. I, I'm I'm starting to look towards um, Nick Mikando now, and, and and think you know okay. he's kept himself pretty clean, and uh, I'm going to watch the times there because I'm, I'm going to say Farmer's going to have Jake sewn up. So Wilton, there's only three drivers out there that haven't pitted yet. That pit window's still got 16 minutes it's to run. It's still so. a long time, yeah. We got a quarter of an hour to go uh, on the pit window and 23 and a half minutes to go on the race time. And these guys can run it right down. Look at that. What do you reckon, Dave, about going on board with Jake McKellar and just seeing, seeing what he's having to deal with? Jake McKellar on board. Let's have a look. He's going outside of Muddy up into two as we speak. How, how bad damage is he yeah. having to... He the turned it quite nicely there. Yeah, the car pretty solid. But let's just have a look. Let's just want to have eyes at JB. What I'm trying to do as well, buddy. One of those tracks like Cameron's little making and everything. You know, as a car clip, we did see some scuff marks on the side earlier. The onboard will give us a heap of info. Car, it's still got a bit of a fucking bat in the car, Davo. No, he doesn't. I suppose the, um, the big question is, is it always the same? Oh, oh! Straight in the head. Oh, who, who is that? that? Anyone else get caught up on that? There's a car 164 of Maxwell walking sideways. Just now on McPhillamy Park there, two attempts. Got it wrong, it's an easy place to get it wrong. Let's we'll just pick up on that replay actually, JB. And uh, yeah, awkward position, the sun in the eyes. Maxwell keeps the thing still. As Jake McKellar comes around with the mudgy in tow, and <laughs> very scary. <laughs> what the place you want to come around there through through Sullivan and McCullough and see a car stopped oh, <laughs> sideways, not oh, to the, oh, the entrance to the bloody skyline. Woo. Max's car, like you say, Davo in the past, looking like a bloody smash crab. Oh, here we go, here we go. J Jake McKellar in. Crucial stop. He's okay, this is a critical stop, and this is where we need to really watch where Wilton's car is. We have Helicam on McKellar. Where is Wilton? And uh, on the track there, JB, can you see where he is? Yeah, Wilton's just coming through the chase. Um, Davo, he's oh, um, we weaving. He's going to get. He's going to get. He's, I think he's going to get McCullar. He's weaved his way through. Wilton approaching. Murray's the final corner. Jake still on the jacks. Just been dropped. Jake's rolling. Wilton now. over. Wilton over the start finish. Here we go. This will be close. Here we go, viewers. Farmer coming around into the final oh. turn. Jake McCullar leaving the pits. And these guys are still going to be locked horns. However, we know the car of 74 Steve Wilton is looking a lot cleaner. <laughs> and it's <laughs> all warmed up and ready to go. So, so watch this space. Jake will be well aware and awake to all of this. Um, wow. That's some close stuff. Jake, I think, really did dodge a bullet there. Well, time will tell. Because... Well, 
it was a big, that was a long stop from Wilton and a quick stop from Jake. So yeah. they, that's, that, that, that crash that Jake have cost them that much time or? Does, does Jake have do tires on Look at Wilton attacking. Already, look at that heat, like you said, Davo. He's on warm, hot rubber. He's in tune. He had no cars around him. The farmer's been able to get in his own rhythm. Jake's been rattled. And, 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 and Wilton would have been watching his times. He would have noticed but that, well, that. Very smooth on this. Yes, that's right, Davo. He would have been watching his times. He would have noticed that time drop from McKellar early back there when he touched the um, and would have chased that all the way to that pit stop. Grant of the Lexus. Pulls away from the BMW but down here under brakes with a look out of the back of McKellar's car. Gosh, we had to go in the pits. Gosh, out of the pits. <laughs> That's how quick the stop was. <laughs> so, okay, the, back to the, the boys. <laughs> I'm glad we've got this battle to go to the back end of this race, uh, Davo. Yeah, because it's battle royale, I tell you. These guys are not mucking around. They come back up onto the back of Glen Dewar, I think, again. Yeah, that's the 34 of Bentley, of Dewar's. Now, this isn't a place that these guys are going to have to deal with lap traffic. Glen, Glen well, away. Away, well awake to that. Yeah. Let's the boys fly through nicely on line and at race pace. Well done, Gleno. Look, the, some reasonable gaps between the rest of the field at the moment. Not too much to look at. This is the race. There's 17 and a half minutes to go. Pit window is still another 10 minutes. Everyone's been in. There's no need. Oh, it's Wilton! Wilton! All sorts oh. of sideways. Oh my goodness. We're going to look at a replay of that out of the back of McKellar's car. Come across the top. Through the grain. Up in the skyline here. Watch Wilton. Gets a clip on the wall. Seriously oh. sideways. Oh, he was lucky he didn't there, car. Wow. This <laughs> is <laughs> seriously puckering, mate. There a from big breather <laughs> for, for Jake, a bit of a sight. He knows that blue BMW is still there. It's fast, and it is fast, and Wilton has and the eyes on. And it is angry. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, big gap between them now. Wilton quite possibly still over 15 minutes to go. Could chase that back. You know, there's still seven or so laps left. Uh, and this is going to go quick, Davo. This is going to go quick. And we did talk about Nick McIndoe as we just popped back to see Nick McIndoe. In fourth position, holding it down neatly in plenty of air in the BMW. And fourth position. So that crash that Jake had, Davo, didn't actually hold. Ah. He didn't lose as much time as I originally thought. So Very lucky. Very lucky. Yes, so plenty of space between the field at the moment. Mark uh, and Mule, the closest to Mike King with some space. Kenny got space. Oh, uh, uh, to Vaughan. Pete Apsey out on his own in the left side, orange wheels on that one. Glenn Dewar, tough night for Glenn O. Brad Robinson chasing down Kenny Simpson. Mac, they've packed Maxwell's car up as well. Just 
keep an eye on Brad and Kenny here for a moment. Yeah, good race that these guys have um, had. Brad Robinson's PB, the 2046. Kenny uh, Simpson's PB, 2051. So, checkbooks in Brad's favour there. Uh, we we'll expect that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they um, they no were that gap will close. I, I can't understand how the car of Jake McKellar, after that massive crash at the elbow, is just not suffering. It yeah, does, look at it, the front of it. It's a bit hard. It's got a mark on it. It's got a and, bit of a scuff on the side. But. And Wilton's is pristine, yet he's just... Right, McKellar, yet just, just driving away like there's yeah, nothing wrong with like it. There's nothing wrong. Uh, Josh Redegar, of course, uh, commanding the race, has done from the beginning of qualifying, mind you, um, and carries on into the morning sunshine. Jake McKellar in second, gapped. Uh, Wilton there after Wilton with a, oh, a very scary moment. Chasing, chasing that gap back, and I look. I, I think that BMW is definitely quicker than that Lexus at the moment overall across the mountain, and mm. he is catching him again. So, uh, like I said, we, we've got just a little under 13 minutes to go. Only about five and a bit for the pit stops, which doesn't really matter because everyone's pitted. But uh, there is still time. There is still six odd laps left in this race. Standout drive for Nick Davidson back in fifth in the other Lexus. Uh, albeit he's in a bit of a lonely position there. He's um, had a few battles along the way. But yeah, solid he, drive. Solid but drive. He, but a solid drive and he's, he's, he's in fifth position, Dave. So, good, good spot. Yeah, yeah, tough. <laughs> Look, mate, anywhere in the top ten in this field at Bathurst. Mate, I think it's a pretty bloody good effort. Top go for a peak, FC. Oh, ouch. FC served a stop go 30 seconds. We know how long, 30, 30 seconds feels like 30 minutes when you're sitting there waiting to get out of the pit. Yes. Um, that car of Ashley Vedica also, he made a ripper pit stop, a uh, huge gain through the pits there for, from Ashley and, and the Porsche. So, and um, holding down a solid seventh there, mind you. That's right. Um, so there's a good stop from Ash there. His uh, best time, a 205 flat. Um, still lapping at the 2053, so very consistent pace from for sure, for from, sure. Um, Ashley there. And it wasn't all easy going. We saw him mid race where he was right in amongst it with I think it was Mudgy and Mule, and you know there was a whole bunch of stuff going on there mid race, mate. You know, like so, um, you know his his position has has been hard fought, and oh. uh, although he sits in clear air now. These guys are still watching their times. They still got to hit their marks. It's a little over 10 minutes to go. Dave, the gap between uh, Farmer and Jake has heated up again. Oh, here we go. We <laughs> knew this BMW was going to catch. It's finally got the nose of that big grill under the wing of the Lexus. Now it can actually make some speed. <laughs> His brake temps must be through the roof after following their Lexus all bloody night, uh, sorry, all, all morning. Yeah, so super fast. This is definitely going to run to the wire. Look, we wish these guys the best of luck too, because it can turn pear shape pretty quickly. We have got exactly 10 minutes to go. JP, pit window just about to close. 
Yeah, so everyone's finished and completed their pits. Pit stops, yes. And these guys are going to come up on a couple of back markers pretty soon. I think it is actually Kenny Simpson and Brad Robinson. So hopefully these guys on point, keep an eye on their mirrors. Oh, they both. This is a that? great way you, to oh, end. You're, yeah. you're watching it. Yeah. I'm watching it. The viewers are watching it. The viewers it. are watching it. <laughs> I think we've almost watched this, this battle and oh. the whole night long. But it has been the battle to watch. Again. Wilt it up the inside. Jake and no, no bar of it. That's traffic ahead. The danger zone for Jake is being approached by his elbow. Kenny to the right. This time. He's leaving this mistake because of how badly damaged the car. That did go into the wall hard. Not as hard as Jim but still equally. He had to bounce off the wall and get that thing going with the power of that thing. Is it going to roar up to some scares? 277 kilometres up and over the rise through the chase. Davo, this is going to go right to the end. Look at the bunch of cars that, that, they're coming up on now on the left. It's the going lapis. to get busy. It is definitely going to get busy. And these guys are pushing. I just see McKellar making a mistake, actually. Go. A little bit sideways. The slightest of a mistake. Outside. Wilton. Has he got it? For the second place right there, Davo. There okay. it is. Come Jake's on. He's going to be bold to hold the inside here. There's going to be respectful from both drivers. And I swear. Farmer sweeps across the front. Holds it together. Oh, See if we can get a 30 second on that whole thing there. Oh, what a big driving. A little bit of oversteer on the exit of the chase there. Sorry about that, people. Um, just had. McKellar a little bit in all sorts and allowed Wilton up the side and makes a stick through not only Hell Corner but through turn one. Nice work from Farmer. Man, how good is that, JB? Yeah. We've been waiting, that, waiting for that for about half the race. And look, and that's happened, and um, this place, Farmer finally has been being released and he'll gap out and it wasn't just the damage from the earlier crash there at the elbow but we see the gaps opened up already so that's it how has. hard these guys are pushing so look at this battle ensuring actually just in the background I've got uh, Mike Ken, Kenny Simpson Kenny a bit of a McLaren sandwich at the moment in the Bentley this is going to wind down to the end as well a little over six and a half minutes to go. That's been an hour. Yeah, a long race so far, but um, the time's flown by. We've seen cars on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it's Hard. inevitable. It's Bathurst. Hey, look, that, oh, it's been awesome, though. That, that McLaren of, um, of Brad's definitely um, going the paces ranged up on the back of Kenny like you said no surprises but um this is going to be a great great ending to the yep. race with these guys yeah but also um Kenny Simpson on the back of Mike King uh in the Bentley there so it's uh it's all happening we've got actually I think that is Dee Wilton coming up behind that bunch of cars so the, the, the uh, second and third place getters, and that's a big bunch of cars there. We still have five and a half minutes to go in this race. Yeah. And this, you know how easy this can go pear shaped, JB. Oh, oh, as we see, Kenny. Kenny. Oh, oh. No, Farmer, Farmer making a bit of contact there with Kenny, just getting caught, a little bit caught out. So and that's easily done. That's, that's right. As we see, these guys get a little bit rattled. Not oh, only no. the leaders, but the back marks are like oh, as we see the McLaren oh, get no, sideways. We see the McLaren just get sideways and actually lose. Now, McKellar gets through that. Oh, 
half stuff there. Davo. The lap, the lap traffic, we you know, is hard. These guys are fighting for second and third. The prefix is so hard, and the cars just so unpredictable. In some of these hard and fast and stuff. And no, just no runoff. <laughs> nowhere to go. In some There's places, nowhere so. to go. What it has yeah. done is actually bunched a little bit. Oh well, no, it actually hasn't. We still have a McLaren in between Wilton and McKellar. We have about four minutes to go, viewers. It's all yeah. happening. Look, Josh really commanding the race. With the TAB, we're right on their odds at the start, paying a dollar five. So anyone that bet on them, you might get four or five bucks if you're lucky, um, depending on how much you put on them. Rightly so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, However, for the Quinella and the Trifecta, striking that battle that unfolded, my goodness. Yeah, Very well, well the, sky's the, the sky's the limit there, that's for sure. Nick McIndoe will be happy with his drive here. Um, you know, he's, yeah, he's, he's worked hard to be where he's at. He's, been carrying the, the ballast, but um, going into the next round, um, he's not going to be carrying, carrying it either, being um, in fourth position. So, yeah, nice work uh, from it's, it's a solid bank of points uh, being up and forth, sure. but keeping yourself just out of that uh, ballast range, too. Mate, so, the car doesn't have a scratch on it, so yeah, well yeah. done to Nick there. Nick Davison in fifth. We just go through. Got to grow in sixth. Both of these guys have done really well. Kept their nose clean, keeping their names in the top ten order. Ashley Bettega, another one. Just like I said, hasn't come too easy, but uh, kept a nice seventh position. To get. Aaron Enright. Solid drive for Aaron. Yeah. Mule in ninth. Now Mule has had some ups and downs as he just gets. I think that is Josh Vediger just popping up behind him. And he will let that happen if you can see him in his mirror. I don't know whether he's even spotted him yet. That's Josh coming around to lap eight place. So that shows uh how many cars um, Josh has actually... The, the speed of, of Josh at the moment. So that's Mule in nine, so well. And uh, Muddy, a tough race, man. This guy's done it really hard. And, and just look at the car. The car, oh. the car shows it. He's in 10th. Uh, He'll be happy to get out of this. <laughs> you know it. Uh, 11th for Kenny. Mike King in 12th at the moment. Uh, Vaughan, 13th. Bob Laycock. Uh, oh, sorry, Vaughan 13, Bobby Laycock in uh, 14th. Glenno 15, Brad Robinson 16, Pete Apsey in 17, and I think that's about it. We'll poke back up the front because we only got about a minute or so to go. Where is Josh? Here he is. He's, he is within a minute of the finish line, so I'd say we're going to do another lap. Yep, we will. So, Wilton and um, McKellar, actually not too far behind Josh, surprisingly, because Josh has really commanded this race, and these guys have been punching on pretty well the whole race. <laughs> like, they've been trading punches. Uh, for the whole duration. So, um, I think this guy's lucky actually be on track. Now, uh, uh, interestingly enough, I'm, I'm picking up on the best lap times of Josh being a 2.027. Yes. And I cast my eye back down right, from the two and the second and third, the and they've all done 2.027. So the top three best lap times all at 2.02.7. Now there you I, go. Is it I not McKellar? McKellar's the fastest, is it? Uh, McKellar would have the fastest lap, yep, on a 
zero to we're talking hundreds david yeah, hundreds <laughs> yeah, hundreds but for bragging rights it's everything yeah oh you know it <laughs> <laughs> hundreds or not <laughs> yeah. uh, awesome stuff as the boys would be completing their final lap we're gonna give joshy a bit of air time here jb yes, we have to he's when these guys do this to us and they just go out and command the race, they don't get a lot of air time because they are just way out in front. So, good on you, Joshy. Across the top of the mountain, JB. Oh, what do you say, mate? Well, we, we, we know Josh is a multiple champion. I'll bring up some of those stats when we talk to him. Um, the race behind, however, oh, there's a car in the wall there as Josh just went through. Zippers. Um, yeah, the race behind was fantastic to watch, wasn't it? They're completely they're on lap yep. 36. Uh, Josh has left the field to eight. Yeah. Uh, Nick McIndoe, solidly, he'll be happy with that. We can talk about that in the BMW and forth. But, well, Josh, you know, he knows the place inside out. I've talked to him the other night. He said, look, he could just drive around this track all day long. Yeah. He loves yep. it that much. Um, and it goes to show he hasn't put a foot wrong no. from pole to finish. So, and what it, what has probably shown itself is not the quickest track in the series, the car in the series, but no. he has totally dominated as he comes across the line. Well done, Josh Vettigar. Mate, well done. you got it. Josh. Yeah, no, good definitely. race, Where's solid race. Round of applause there for Joshy. Uh, Steve Wilton, aka Farmer, with uh, maybe a slightly massage, but not too untidy BMW. Looks pretty bloody clean to me. The second place, what a ding dong between him, Jake oh, McCullough in third. Yeah, that was a highlight of the race. Edge, wasn't of, the, it? edge of the seat for, God, probably two thirds of the race. So. Awesome stuff. And Jake McKellar working really hard for that. Look, those guys. <laughs> yeah, wasn't he? Sh shit. They can have a good, long, hard um, watch of this replay at the yeah. end and, and just <laughs> enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the Enjoy it because it was awesome to watch from this angle. Um, Nick McIndo. His car. Look at that. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Not, a scratch, yeah. not a scratch on it. <laughs> um, he would have had his fair few um, scares, I'm sure, along the way. Uh, Nick's best time. A 202.9, only two tenths off the fastest lap of the race. Stavo carrying yeah. carrying an extra 20 yeah, not kilos. Shabby, so, eh? so that's a that's outstanding pace from Nick. There, but no surprises um, where he sits in the championship too. So that's going to do him a world of good. Nick Davidson, standout drive, I think. You know, fifth place. He's going to be wrapped with that. Um, he sh and he should be. He should be happy. Awesome work. Ashley, um, look, we see him do a mega pit stop. I'm exactly. sure he came in in the pits behind Aaron Enright, and he came out miles ahead. So, yeah. so um, whether something up, he's picked up a position there, another position. So they're good work from Ash. Like you said, it would, he might have picked something up on Aaron in the pits. Whether Aaron got it wrong or Ash yeah. got it right, one yeah. of the two he made ground. Stoney, we know he bailed out early in the piece on these uh, Bathurst. Um, so specialist there too. Aaron in right. Seven. Great. Well done, Aaron. Uh, 202, 4.7 was your best lap time. Congratulations. You'll be happy with that, I'm sure. Mule, we know that was a ding dong that you had with Mudgy throughout the round. And a Mudgy in not Gunter Row in 10th. Uh, there we go. Uh, Kenny, 11th, 12th, Mike, Vaughan Martin in. Bob Lake on 14th. I think I keep saying 14th and 14th. But anyway, <laughs> um, Glenno. Tough night. In it. Uh, yeah, tough night for Glenno again. Brad Robinson, 15th. Pete Upsy, 16th. Maxwell and Brendan Rolf uh, both out and back in the transporters already after a tough night. Now. What have we got? We've got the uh, hot box brought to you by GoBro Racing. We do, and what we've got to do, Davo, is we've got yep. to 
grab this guy. Um, he is our <laughs> he is our current championship channel. leader. Yes. Um, with 211 points, only 10 points ahead of Mikindo. He had uh, what was probably the best race of the night. Uh, Jake McKellar, third place at Bathurst. He started in the dark. Oh, what a race with Farmer you had. You must let us see it. Uh, yeah, absolutely shattered, mate. Um, kept me on my toes for the whole whole race. It was epic. Yeah, it looked fantastic to watch up here, mate. We were we were following it very closely. Yeah, I thought you thought you would, eh? Yeah. Um, yeah. He man, he had some pace going up the hill and down, and then I sort of pulled away on the straight. So. Yep. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah, lucky you had the, the grunt of the Lexus. Yeah, Just... we, we, yeah that's right, Dave. I think yeah, the grunt of the Lexus. Of the Lexus. Was, we were was watching one, it, hey? which, which brought you that, that um, little bit it's of a of relief and safety <laughs> there. But um, we did see you get it wrong at Forest Elbow. Um, <laughs> and look, you were coming up through the back markers. Um, yeah, yeah, it looked like you wanted to show the nose and it just um, went tits up for you. See what happened? Oh, uh, no, I, wasn't, I didn't intend to show it in there. Um, I was going to wait to the straight before I passed, but I outbreak myself there and ended up um, banging into the wall, yeah. It was my own mistake. Yeah, and how, um, what was the damage like for the car? Uh, just had light damage, didn't seem to affect anything, luckily. I thought it would, I was contemplating um, repairing it in my pit stop, but um, decided against it, so yeah. Well, look, it was probably the right decision because you came out yeah, bang definitely. on with Farmer. Um, now, you did stay out a lot longer than Farmer. Um, look, what was the strategy? Did you start with a lot, a lot more fuel? Yeah. I had 105 litres to start with. Um, I wanted to go long just in case the weather changed, you know. You never know what could happen. Yeah, Fair and, enough. And, it, and did you take uh, a new set of tyres at your pit stop as well? No, no, my tyres seemed all good, so they are only a little bit below optimum. So I knew, knew the second stint they'd come up a bit, which they did, and ended up... Um, high 27 and a couple on 28 so they're pretty good awesome yeah there you go well look you had the fastest lap of the race too only by like a couple of hundreds um <laughs> <laughs> so nice. for, bra for bragging rights uh, that, that's nice you all did 202.7 point something uh <laughs> but yours what yours was the best of the rest so wow. definitely yeah look Congratulations on your P3. Grab like more than one beer. Um, you're gonna love watching that back. Um, and, and, those <laughs> kind of, and those kind of races you remember forever too. So uh, for sure, for sure, and it's immortalised now. You can't go wrong. Grab a beer, sit back and watch it. You'll love it. Um, yeah, we'll do, man. Yep, you will. Um, with that success, also, it's gonna do you well in your championship. Um, but welcome back to your BOP. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Um, yeah, uh, awesome. Okay. Cheers, <laughs> You're welcome. That's <laughs> fine. Congrats, bro. Yeah, sweet guys. Thanks. Okay, talk talk next week. User was moved out of your channel. Awesome stuff. Well, um, well, da well, Dave. I mean, this, this guy is absolutely no stranger to, to this um, comms box, is he? And um, not at what, all. What what a way to come back into the box. Yes. Hey, fellas. Hey. Hey, we did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we've, been, we've been rooting for you all season, mate. We knew you were coming. <laughs> we knew you were coming. <laughs> but uh, what a cracker of a oh, race. Oh, what a race. Mate. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. One of the best races I've had for a long time here, eh? Just um, on the bumper of Jake. The whole race. The whole race. Yeah. yeah. Well, we couldn't keep our eyes off it, uh, Steve. Like, the, the cameras were... <laughs> glued you did you did dominate the the, the footage the airtime there um 
Far out. Um, well, yeah, well, I'm glad I finally got past them for you then, because I sat behind him for a long, long time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we well, we did think he actually sort of let you go past there at one stage, and then you blew it into turn one, so he took yes. it back off you. Yes. Just, oh, buggy yes. you. I'm going to take he it back. An error. He made an error, and then I made an error straight <laughs> away. And I had it on my mind, don't muck up this turn. And and I did. Did. Yeah. Yeah. But the yeah. next time, you had him. And you, there was like head down from there on, so <laughs> it was way later in the race. But it was way made, later, made yeah. It but, uh, yeah. Yeah, coming. What, um, I made a little choice on the fly there to uh, to not change tires, um, just to save myself. Oh, okay. uh, about save myself about 13 seconds in the pits there. I just put yep. fuel in only, still heaps of fuel. Yeah. Um, and I thought I was going to get him, but he came out just in front of yep. me. I was so disappointed when I see this car. <laughs> yeah, because we sort of were watching the both of you, and we thought that you were probably a little bit slower than he was, you know, like, and we're thinking, oh, maybe Farmer took tyres, you know, like, and mm. um, so we were interested in what was going on there because uh, we knew that when he came out on these cold cold tyres, mate, you were all over it. It was on. Yeah, your, your, the tyre pressures that you, or your, your warm rubber you had definitely, um yeah, played into your strengths there uh, as he oh, came out, but far. Yeah, I don't um, think he took tyres. So, no, um, so, no so he Jake, didn't Jake didn't no. um, take tyres either. No. He started with 105 litres. Uh, his pressures yep. um, were uh, high 27s, just dipping into the 28s as oh, he yep. um, got to the end of that race. Um, he felt that yeah, his tyre was um, okay to do the distance and without changing it. So, hence the reason you both popped out at the same place. At the same oh, there time. you go. Yeah, um, I started with 77 litres uh, and I added 77, so he would have added slightly less. Which probably um, explains why you were on his bumper through the first half of the race, because your yes. car was a, a heap lighter than his. Um, but made, it made for fantastic viewing, yes. I'll tell you. Yes. Um, a 202.7. Yeah, mate. Jakey's uh, um, quickest lap of the race. Yeah. It's a 202.7 as well. I know. And, and, and also Josh. We're and just also Josh. So, yes. yeah. so you're, you're all, all <laughs> on the same pace. Um, it's mad. Yeah. You, you made it to the podium. It's going to do your championship a world of good. That's oh, gonna, yeah. No, um, great race, guys. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. And, uh, really strong well, across the top there and, uh, you know, fighting for all I could around the rest of the track. And, <laughs> the, yeah. It's like chasing that Lexus power He's down the straight. Work for it. Yeah. Bloody hell, he just drove away from you there. <laughs> eh? But, uh, yeah. look, grab a burby, mate. Welcome. You're probably going to get a bit of BAP, are you? Huh? No? Oh, no, you're too far hell, back. Yeah, look, I didn't think about that. <laughs> um, well, he's giving yeah. away boobies and he's giving away big Yeah, yeah. will be. Uh, be yeah. second for the round. I'll get 20 kegs, I suppose, for next uh, week. Uh, yeah. Add another yeah. five, mate. It's 25. <laughs> okay, Roger that. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> so grab a, grab a boobie and sit back and watch it because it's an awesome watch, mate. Uh, you guys were going flat out at it. So, uh, yeah, most shot, enjoyable, guys. Most enjoyable Thanks. to watch. Thanks, well done. Guys. Beauty. Thanks, I'm glad guys. I made it down here. I can, I, I can relax for the rest of the season. <laughs> no, don't do that. Right, guys, love you. Well, 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 hey, hey, Farmer, well, well, we've actually got yeah. you here. There, like, I would like to just um, say that you are no slouch. You, you've you've uh, given a lot to the back to the community. And, and your racing tonight proved that um, your successes you've had in the past. If I read out 2017, a triple crown in the GT3s. Oh, 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 oh. One of the first to take oh, a triple crown. Go. 2017, you had a third in the GT3s. In 2021, you were third in a NASCAR series. In 2018, you were third in a GT3 series. And in 2020, you were third in a GT4 series. So, you know, there's What five... I'm hearing, John, is a lot of thirds, mate. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, it might be a second tonight, but you've had, yeah, but you've had, you've had a lot of successes in the championship. So you can string them together, buddy. You're in a good position right now um, to go one better. I'm giving, yeah. gi giving you the stats now, so you can oh, up your mate. game. Maybe one of these tracks still to come will be, uh, will be, will work for us, eh? Yeah, I, I think getting this guy in my ear all week called JB. Fucking yeah, yeah, I think, I think, I think, telling I think, me I can do good. I so. think all that was meant to be a compliment yeah. too, mind you. But yeah. anyway. <laughs> yeah, so no. Stop, fellas. Congratulations. Work, mate. All right, boys. Cheers, man. Love your work.
user was moved out of your channel. <laughs> Congratulations, Josh. <laughs> Everyone's taken up the other uh, ear type. T P1, outstanding drive. You just uh, had, had it from the start. You were the TAB hot favourite. <laughs> no, thanks, guys. Yeah, it's, um, oh, I just had it in, in a good rhythm. Just hit the marks. And, um, yeah, I always enjoyed around Bathurst. So it was, it was good. Yeah, 202.7, um, fastest lap was, um, you all did 202.7s, you, you top three, um, separated by stuff all. Um, great quality time over here, which put you in the best possible yeah, spot. What was your strategy yeah. tonight, Josh? Oh, I so, um, just went long on tyres, so just filled up uh, long on tyres and fuel, so full tank at the start, and I only put in... Uh, like 30 litres or something in the pit stop so it was a, a 10 second stop or something like that um, and and that seemed to work for me I think if, when I when I came out I think it was about a 20 second gap back to um, Farmer and, and, and Jake so I think that was the, the strategy for tonight um, if I did tyres then I would have been uh, just behind them Wow, yeah so um, it looks like some of the boys behind um, picked up on that and they never changed tyres either. Um, on, on track, do you have any moments out there? Uh, it took me a while to get into the swing of things, I guess, just being careful and to be at the start. So Forest Elbow is always a bit treacherous on um, cold and um, low grip conditions. So uh, I ran wide there a couple times um, at the start of the race, but uh, apart from that, not really. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just um, went as hard as I could because. Uh, once you start sort of backing off, I find around Bathurst you you're not concentrating enough, and then that's that's when the mistake happens, and lots of them can happen around Bathurst. So yeah, just kept it consistent and hard. Well, look, Josh, you're making good gains in yes, the championship. Yes. Albeit you missed around um, some of the big guys up the front, uh, Glenn Dewar dropping out. How I'm not sure what happened to his first initial yeah. error, but he. Um, we saw him have a huge moment at Forest Elbow. He did what Chaz Mostert did. I'm surprised, surprised he doesn't have any broken bones, to be honest. But um, oh, that's good. Yeah. Um, but look, hey, you're going to leapfrog in the championship there. Uh, we look forward no to doubt. watching you um, go forward. 30 kilos. Here you go. Welcome yeah. to 30 kilos. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to Donington next round. So um, that's going to be... A great one for for the sprint round here for for you drivers and the viewers. Yeah. Um, to congratulations, Josh. Thank you very much. Well done. Cheers, Hope guys. See you next week. Yes. 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 Yep. I'm here all week. Well, every week. Nice. Awesome to hear. Awesome. Love it. Awesome. Been a fantastic night. Thanks, Josh. Congratulations again. Um, we'll let you go, and uh, JB, that is a wrap, my friend. How about that? Oh, mate, uh, look, it, go, it goes quick. It feels like a, <laughs> like a, a good night at Bathurst. Uh, look, the viewers, they must have loved that one. We heard it from the, the boys, especially Jakey and, um, yep. and Farmer, how much yep. they enjoyed that race. That, and, and that's what you, you like to hear from some of the drivers, that, um, how much they enjoyed it. <laughs> of course, of course. So, yeah. Yeah, and look, and, and, and we enjoyed it alike uh, from up here in the comments box. Fantastic to watch. The season and the series has been awesome so far. Back to the sprint rounds next week at yes. Donington. Uh, I think that's a wrap for tonight, uh, JB. Yeah, did I? Um, 
Might have a cold beer myself, mate. I think so. Okay, good night, everyone. Good night for me. And good night from me, too. See you, mate.